Welcome to Whiskey Ball. I'm Daniel. Rex, whiskey. Yeah, glasses, you know, thanks. Words. What is this here? We got a Highland Queen yes, Majesty. Yes, this is from the Titan Renita. Daniel, in the distance, Beyond do you hear that? Previs. <laughs> Highland Queen Majesty. Now, we've done the Highland Queen Majesty before, but we've not done the eight-year-old. Uh, how concerned should I be that I have zero recollection? No, no, and it was fine. How, how, long, how long ago? We decided it was fine. We were up in the other vault. Oh, that was a long time ago. Yeah. Okay, Highland Queen Majesty. Single malt, not blended. Okay. Now, we can venture a guess that there's a reasonable likelihood it's Tullabardine. Based on what? Uh, based on who owns what mm -hmm. and who the brand Island Queen, mm -hmm. the company, and all of that kind of stuff. Okay. I brought to Labardine so we can find out and see mm -hmm. what we think. But a lot of nose for an 80 proof. It's a very fruity caramel malty. Caramel malty fruity in that order. It's a caramel maltiness and the fruitiness right under that. Yeah, I um uh, I almost got the reverse, but I got both of those things. Mm -hmm. Almost a berries kind of fruitiness. Yeah, like uh, like light berries peach and, cream, and, berries and peaches and cream. too. <laughs> yeah. very, it's very nice. I'm nose. not I'm not disliking the nose. Very fruit, very space side mm -hmm. kind of fruit forward. Finding a lot more than I expected at that, at that low of a proof there. And every time I go back to the nose, the fruit character kind of takes a little bit different of a shape. That's nice. It's got that classic sort of like slightly earthy. Slightly. Sorry. Slightly earthy candied. Mm. It's a fruit forward maltiness. I like it. 20 bucks. Okay. $20. So if we're grading on the $20 curve. Yeah. That's, not bad for the $20 that's curve. That's not bad at all for $20 curve. I'll tell you exactly where I think this is landing. Whenever a, a single malt is going down a very good path, but you can tell it's young and it's not quite there yet. Yeah. It's not matured to the place where you're going to get this really deep, <laughs> elaborate, complex, nuanced. Even though it's eight years old, it's still Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it, it still comes across as not half-baked, it's a little bit more than mm -hmm. half-baked, but still, it's not where it wants to be in terms of the final age for this thing. Surprisingly, the proof, mm -hmm. I'm not complaining at the proof right no, now. No, no, not at all. It's very approachable, but which not is, boring. Which is very strange to, yeah. to get an 80 proof anything and not think it should be higher. Try this glass, look even lighter, almost water uh -huh. color. Is that Tullabardine. What's the, uh, the this, this is no age statement on this. Okay. It's even lighter though. It's less fruity too. Definitely less fruity. Wow. Yeah, way more cut hay. Based on this, I would not equate them coming from the same place. Oh yeah, try it. I could see if it was. It's got that slightly. Nah, this one's a little bit different. This one's mm. got more butterscotch to it. Which the Highland Highland Queen? Queen Majesty has more butterscotch to it. Comparatively, you do find butterscotch. But. It's not rich. It's it, they both still have that sort of like barley mulch, earthy note. I want to see this in five more years, mm -hmm. and then since I'm being picky and asking for unreasonable things, five more years and give it to me at forty-six. Yeah, forty-six ABV. A bit Even though the proof is fine right here, I'm just curious. Forty-six percent, five more years. I, I agree. think there's nothing wrong with it right now. It's just thinking about the scotches, the single malts that I really like. How's it different? So like, all right. It doesn't have quite the maturity, hasn't developed those flavors as deeply as it usually happens in the older scotches, but it's on a really good path. I'm kind of surprised to get that price point. I actually prefer this mm -hmm. to the Sovereign. No, I do too. I think uh, this is simpler. Mm -hmm. Not bad, again, but this has like that fruity character and once you do the AB, you do yeah. find a little bit of a butterscotch note. That's a thing! Matt B. Heiss. Excellent description of how distillers tailor their new make to work out in the future under specific barreling conditions. Mm, yeah. When you got to the point of saying that Texas distilleries only have a small window of time before the barrel takes over, it sparked another question. Is it possible to take an overly oaked spirit and redistill it? Yes. Does that take the reborn make back to day one of aging? Almost, mm -hmm. but not quite. Or is there something left over? of the excess oakiness. Yeah, not it oaky. It depends on the, where the cuts are. I think his question is, does it turn it yeah. back into new make day one? No, it doesn't take it back into no. new make. Now, what I have found is if it's over oaked, we have discovered that proofing it down and re-barreling it in used oak mm. and then giving it time 
does absolutely turn the tannins back down. You're again. letting the other flavors time, giving them time to catch okay. up. So that's our trick. Grumpy Munchkin. Here's why I love Rex and Daniel. An ultra rare bottle worth hundred thousand dollars gets dropped off at the vault. Daniel spends an unhealthy amount of time researching how a Germanic battle with the Romans in 1287 BC impacted the forest where the oak trees were grown, while Rex admits that he's just brushed his teeth and popped him in five minutes before filming the episode. <laughs> then Rex tries to boil his steak and said whiskey and feed it to Daniel for a whiskey dry video. Yeah. Bo boiling steak and whiskey. You ever see, um, is it Guga? Guga Foods? No. Guga, I think it's Guga Foods. He does like sous vide everything. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, yeah he, he did a steak sous vide and whiskey. Oh, I'll take a steak and a whiskey. Okay. Sous vide? <laughs> sous vide? Oh, no, I actually meant... Uh, it's fine. <laughs> uh, ah, know, it's okay. For the price? For the price. It's sure. Good. Yes. I'd yeah. say yes for the price. And I don't see anything wrong where it currently is. It's just I think we're a little bit spoiled. Mm -hmm. And we've had this category older, more complexity, more time, higher proof. But damn, though, these whiskeys that we've loved yeah. in the past, if we found them, if we experienced them earlier in that maturation process... Yes. I would expect them to be something kind of like this. I agree. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight me, fight for a friend. You steal, may you steal your livers. And if you drink, may you drink with us.